Hey guys, welcome to Abundant Life with Five. I'm Priscilla. If you're new, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and hit that bell notification for my next video. Today is January 19th, and today I am canning condensed milk. Yes, I am. First, I want to show you how I make it. So right here in this pot, I have eight cups of milk, whole milk, and then I have four cups of sugar, granulated sugar. So we're going to let this process for 40 minutes, and then... I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, it has been almost an hour, so I processed this for an hour, and it looks like condensed milk to me, but what you see on top is a foam, and what you do is just skim it off. This is all the impurities that you do not want in your product, and you just skim it off. And you let this sit and cool, and after I let it sit and cool, I'm going to um, let it be warm, and then I'll process it and put it in my half pint jars. And I'm going to process that for 25 minutes in my pressure canner. Okay, guys. So this is the consistency of the milk after you let it sit for an hour. So now I'm going to put it inside the jars. I have my lids heating up as well. Okay, guys. So this is what the milk looks like when I put it inside of the jars. But I wanted to show you how the consistency look. So just bear with me. I'm doing this with one hand. All right. So... This is what it looks like when you put it inside of the jar. I'm going to get a little more, so we're going to leave a one inch headspace. All right, so I'm going to put a little more in there. So a one inch headspace, guys. Okay, so now I have my paper towel with vinegar, and I want to make sure to wipe the rims in around it because I want to get a good seal, and I want to get all of this fat off so i usually do this about three times guys so make sure you do that it's a very important step okay i'm gonna put my rings and my lids on top of the half pint jars and i also want to add a disclaimer this is what i do in my kitchen this is not fda approved but i've been watching people that have been doing this for years and they said there's nothing wrong with it and they still alive so why not but all right let's put these lids on Okay guys, so I'm going to put my lids on as well as my rings. This is not FDA approved. This is what I do in my kitchen. So that's what I do, you know. But um, put these rings on, fingertip tight, and it looks like this. But now I'm going to put this in the canner and let's get it started. Alright guys, so this is what it looks like inside the canner. I have nine half pint jars inside of the canner. So now I'm going to put my lid on and I'm going to wait for a steady steam. Okay guys, I got my lid on and now I'm just waiting for a steady steam. So I'm going to put my fire on high and make sure that your pot is level. Okay, I have a steady steam and now I'm about to set my timer for 10 minutes. Okay guys, as you can see the nozzle is up and the timer has went off. So I have a steady steam so I'm going to put my weight on. And I'm going to process it for 25 minutes. Half pint jars. It is finally at 11 pounds. So now I'm going to adjust my fire so it can stay at the steady 11 pounds for the processing time of 25 minutes. And then I'll come back and let you guys see what it looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like inside of the canner still. Let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes so it has, you know, time to seal. But this is what it looks look like. I'm about to take it out so you guys can see it. Alright guys, so I took it out the pot and this is what it looks like. As you can see, the color has changed and the lids look like they popped pretty much. They look like they pinged already. I took the rims off because I did not want them to stick because I did use sugar. But guys, do not be afraid to can. But I do still want to give out a disclaimer. This is my kitchen. This is what I do. It is not FDA approved. But tomorrow, make sure you wipe your rings and make sure everything has pinged and sealed. And if it didn't, put it inside your refrigerator. Shalom. Bless you. Y'all loves you. Come out of her. Shalom. Tomorrow, I'll be back to show you if it got thicker. Because as you can see, it's still bubbling. The air is still escaping. Shalom. Okay, guys. It is the next day. And I wanted to show you the condensed milk that I made. So it actually did get thicker. It's like way thicker than it was. If you can see it. Like, it looks good. I'm so happy, and I'm so proud of myself. But, guys, if I can do it, you can do it, too. Shalom. Bless you. Y'all loves you. Come out of her.